No, I was like literally just staring at the screen. I wasn't even like looking away. I was like dead focused. It's like one of those things where you just make a decision that doesn't make any sense and you have no idea why you did it. It's like you're possessed. Like that that didn't make any. There's no reason for me to do that and I don't even know why I chose to do that. Didn't make any sense at all. I think I'm just going to spook on it and then walk off instead. What does make sense? I don't know. I guess not many things make sense. That's true. Didn't the roof jump thing get patched? Uh, no. Uh, the roof jump thing? I think he's talking about the tree jump, right? Senseless, violent, quantum soulgasm. <laughs> One time, it was 3 a.m. at Denny's, and a friend of yours is like, it wouldn't, wouldn't it be funny to get a grand slam which Waitress took his order, and this glazed look came upon him, and he asked for a grand slam which <laughs> That sounds pretty funny. That sounds like a f that, that doesn't even. <laughs> why would he say that? <laughs> well, I guess it was 3 a.m. So. Is, isn't there like a food item that is called the Grand Slam on the menu, though? Or like on the menu of, of some fast food place? Or did he just add the, the sandwich part to it because he was, like, not paying attention? It's on the menu, but he didn't want it. Okay, I see. I see. He ordered it anyways, like he was possessed by the spirit of Denny's. <laughs> I'm possessed by the spirit of gravity right now. It's confirmed. Who drinks coffee and juice? Like, coffee and then juice together? Oh, that'd be pretty gross, to be honest. That would be pretty gross. I feel like that would hurt my stomach. I think I've had orange juice and coffee at a place in like a 30 minute time differential or whatever. Uh, or like 30 minutes apart or whatever, and... I had, like, really, really bad stomach pain from it. What? Why are you swaying? Why is this guy swaying?
Ah, uh, you're calling it your stomach hates breakfast? No, it's not that. It's just like... Uh, just the orange, orange, like, the orange juice and the coffee together. Uh, is it first time, level one, hitless, all boss run? Uh, it's not hitless, it's, uh, no damage, Fijan. But yeah, this is the first time anybody has done it. We, we have done no hit, all bosses, at level one. We haven't done no damage, all bosses, which would be... <clears throat> no no health bar reduction, nothing at all. No environmental damage. Is there a difference, String? Yes. I like how you changed your names around too, like the <laughs> Like it's just theorist string now. What day am I gonna give character creator lessons? All you gotta do is type in uh similar face or click similar face over and over and you're good. I mean, sometimes, I, okay, for some of these, I have gone into the, each individual setting and changed some of them. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty simple, though. You screw around until it looks funny. And then similar face can tie it together for you. Ah, uh, Barudak, what's up? Sounds insane this run? A little bit. Uh, do I ever PvP Zedox? I'm not a fan of PvP on this game. I used to in all the other games, though. Uh, back from the 70s, what's up? I'm a string theorist. I play guitar. <laughs> uh, you must play the game pretty well to know that. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I apparently play the game well enough to walk off the ledge... Or the ed the edge of a elevator shaft, uh, while well, it's not even at the top part that I need to get off at, knowingly, and for no reason, with no excuse. So, <laughs> I, I I there's nothing can save me from myself. Even 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 having some skill doesn't matter. <laughs> Fists only zero hit run. Uh, yeah, I I thought about it before. If Sage was possible, I would try it. Uh, definitely, I would try it. I doubt Sage is possible, or likely, but there might be a method out there somehow. Only you can prevent elevator deaths, yeah. You have a question about this run? 100% block shields? I'm not going to be using any of those. I mean, you could if you wanted to, hypothetically, but that would be kind of cheesy in my opinion. Uh, Nobunagas, what's up? How's it going, man? Army, how have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. Hoo-ha, hoo-ha. Look at him go. Vort dies. Never mind. <laughs> Doesn't even get to dash. Would deacons be doable fists only? Uh, I don't know. You might have to like leave them for later and do uh, like other bosses that you don't normally do, like old demon king maybe and stuff like that for extra souls. Like you probably need more levels than you'd normally have if you really wanted it to be safe, and a lot of extra skulls too. Like I could see that definitely being the hardest any percent run. That I can think of right now. I don't know. Like, it would be harder than the fat roll run. I think. But. Yeah, I don't know. I just. It sage is the part that doesn't make any sense. Are 100% runs a thing? Do you mean like all achievements? 
Want to come over and listen to your new, new speakers? Sure, I'll be there in 10 seconds. Uh, any advice for someone who wants to pull off a no-hit run? Uh, so those videos right there, Burudak, uh, the first one is the any percent video, so the just the regular no-hit run. And then the all, all bosses in DLC portion of it is in the second link. You're probably going to want to watch those videos. That's the best advice I can give. And then probably make mental notes of what I'm doing right now, maybe. Because there is there's a lot of things that uh, I've changed. There's like many ways you can do one thing in a lot of cases. Uh, some are more preferable to certain people. Some are like factually more safe. Um, in terms of like the demand of what you have to do to get the result. But um, yeah, there's like definitely some things in those runs that we're commentating that aren't updated enough so there's mentions of other thing other ways to do it and then there's like obviously the stuff that i'll do on this here and there that you could try minus the things that relate to no damage but that would only be like trying to not take fall damage mainly and the the poison and all that no leveling should be no weapon le weapon leveling too trent <laughs> definitely you know what, let's just do no weapon leveling, no leveling, no fun, no no progression, no uh, gameplay. Should do a disturbed sound of silence vocal cover. If I could sing like that, I probably wouldn't, uh, probably, probably wouldn't be uh, here. I'd probably be singing and stuff. 700 plus hours in DS3, now time to do some challenge runs. You, so you probably know quite a lot about the game from that, or enough to like have a little bit of an advantage over someone that didn't do challenges. That dog was swerving. Uh, Rick Fire, what's up? No stream run. <laughs> Good thing for you guys that I can't sing. Yeah, you wouldn't want me to try. No limbs. Ah, oh, that's rough. Well, you can do voice activated stuff. This only equipping anything is the same as leveling. Watch that first step on that elevator now. Heard it a doozy. Uh, Bone Saw, thank you for the warning, man. I definitely, I need the warning. I shouldn't need it, but I apparently do. Broken Ladle is the best ladle. Ots has done DS2 Pass Fist, really? I, I, I thought that DS2 Pass Fist was easier than... Most, because it because they have so many NPCs you can summon, right? Broken Sword run, Seb. Uh, I did Broken Sword no hits. It's on YouTube if you want to see that. That actually wasn't that bad. That was actually that was easier than uh, fat rolling no hits. It took less time as well. I think it was like two and a half, three weeks maybe. Face looks like what an onion knight would have underneath the helm. <laughs> Actually, you can you can check and see. You can look at Sigward's face. It's pretty normal. Ah, uh, Gino, thank you for the good luck. How did the speedruns go for you? No electricity? That's rough. Best Buy utility outlet percent until they basically come out and they extradite me. <laughs> Voice control DS3 would be something surreal. I would totally try it if I could get it set up. It's just a matter of doing that. I'm not sure how you'd set that up.
Uh, Lonzo, what's up? Comes OJ stream to lurk. Oh, comes on stream? <laughs> Sorry, we were talking about orange juice, so I thought you actually were listening to that somehow and then just randomly said OJ. That's probably a spelling mistake. <laughs> Combine these with keyboard and mouse. Uh, I don't like keyboard and mouse. For this game, at least. I mean, I'm sure there's games where, like, once you got coordinated with it, it would make more sense. It would feel better. Is it possible to beat with an over-encumbered build? Probably not. I mean, like you can you can fat roll and beat it, but you can't you can't like be at a hundred like you can't be at over seventy percent equip load. Uh, or sorry, over like is it like ninety nine or something like a hundred percent? There's a certain break point where you can't move. Uh, but like being the heaviest, like rolling the heaviest, you can beat the game. Yeah. Uh, Optic, thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. That is very motivational. Oven mitts, no hit run? <laughs> Maybe. I feel like that's too specifically silly, though. Like, oven mitt, like, what? Like, I feel like if it was going to be something where my hands were not as accessible, like, I'd want it to be cooler than the oven mitts. Even though that's, like, a fun, like, little thing to try. Um... I don't think oven mitts alone is that bad. Like, that would definitely be doable. Uh, maybe, like, boxing gloves? No, boxing gloves would probably be too hard. Like, maybe, maybe like, a arcade stick no-hit run would be interesting. Like, a, just a completely different controller. Uh, Belgian, have a good sleep, man. I will see you later. If you are taking off. Whip only? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty good. But, like, you can't get a whip until later in the game. Unless you do it on NG+. Steam controller? Steam controller wouldn't be hard enough. Because it's not that bad to use. From what I understand. Like, I know people that have done challenge runs with the Steam controller. Like, not because the controller is challenging, but they just use the Steam controller. Okay, we gotta go back here now. Oven mitts makes it easy to fight fire enemies. <laughs> NES controller, that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, definitely. Although, that's just like limited buttons, so... You, you, NES controller would probably be pretty similar to arcade stick with... The, the no camera movement and stuff like that. Ask Luality to send you the DDR pad. Dude, to be honest, her sending me a DDR pad would probably be more expensive to receive than just buying a used one. <laughs> Based on where she lives, but... Um, and just, like, the weight of the package and everything. I, I don't know. It would, it would depend, but... Um, I could probably I could probably get one, but I've been, I've been warned by the dude that originally did the dance pad run that you gotta be careful. Because, uh... A lot, like a lot of the ones, it's like really hard to find brand new ones for good prices that are like the one that you'd want to use for it. Uh, and the used ones, a lot of them are like they have problems with them, and they're really easy to break, apparently. So uh, he went through like the, the it was uh, Rudism, the guy that makes like a bunch of random controllers. He uh, I think he broke one. He had to like use two of them to do complete his run on this. I would like to do it at some point, 
Like if I can find one that's reliable, 100%. I got a DJ Hero turntable, but I need a, I need a cable for it that I can't actually find online. So I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> Guitar run where one note is action. I've already discussed with uh, the person that could help me do it how we would actually go about that. Uh, the only problem with that is that when you have uh, something get out of tune, it wouldn't register as an input. So you'd have to keep making sure you're in tune the entire time. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that we, I, we could we could definitely try to do something like that. <laughs> It'd be funny though. Guitar Hero Run? Guitar Hero Run's like overdone. So many people have done that. That's like one of the most common alternate controller runs on this stuff. I wanted to do Rock Band Bloodborne Run, but uh, it, did, it didn't work on the PS4 though. Uh, Mr. Ninja, what's up? How's it going? Using a wheel? Ra racing wheel would be pretty cool, definitely. Um, just a matter of getting one, I guess, that works well. But yeah, that would be pretty cool. Control the game with a MIDI keyboard? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can control it probably like any MIDI device. Why did I go back through here again? I did not need to do that. PC keyboard only? Uh Keyboard's just not that interesting to me. I mean, there's people that play this game on keyboard really well, so it's not like hard. It's not that hard. I, c I can play it on keyboard much easier than any other weird controller. It's just like, I just don't like the keyboard. It's just not like odd enough for me to enjoy it as like an extra thing. It's just kind of like a less effective way of playing the game. That's pretty standard that a lot, like a giant amount of people do actually play it on the keyboard. Like, maybe not, not not close to majority, but, like, there's a significant chunk of people that play it on the keyboard, and some that play it extremely well. Uh, so it's not like there's a disadvantage. Like, you can always get, like, really get at using the, key, the keyboard, because you still have all your controls. Like, a uh, fight stick, you can't use camera. Any ass controller, you can't use camera, and you can't use other buttons. Um, DJ Hero turntable movement would be really weird, because you don't actually have any, like, controls to move the keep the character consistently same with the guitar hero controller like there's still the, the movement would be more difficult um so from its vessel. crossed hands the upside down broken run, xbox <laughs> world oh man so the world might be mended. with pedals included three directional keyboard um What do you mean by three-directional keyboard? Also, uh, Vixenize, thank you very much for using your Prime sub here. I hope you enjoy your remotes and also being a skeleton. Welcome. Okay, there we go, nice. It's a keyboard with goes toward you it's called safe type okay hmm <laughs> like i have a bunch of weird control i have a fight stick and i have a turntable uh, i had a rock band controller as well but i'd have to i probably could get it to work on this but i didn't really want to do it on this um but yeah have those did you miss much uh these not really Also, how do I pronounce your name properly? Drum kit controller? I don't have one of those. That would be a pain in the ass to get. I don't like having objects that don't, like, that, that I can't consistently use that are, like, that big. Because I don't want it to take up the space. If it's, like, small, then it's fine. But uh, same with the racing wheel. Like, that's, like, a lot of gear to just do something like this. Oh, you know, I screwed this up, actually. I gotta go back. I gotta wait longer. I want the bar to be zero. Use a fight stick? A fl oh, a flight stick. A flight stick. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Holding controller upside down, maybe. <laughs> How's it going, Chewbacca? 
voice controller was the most interesting suggestion. Beatbox skills. <laughs> Those mouses that have 10 side keys. I have one that has like, probably, wait, let's see. That has like three and then it has like a selection for, for the uh, DPI on it. Plus click, I guess the click wheel would count as like four. Plus the, like, the left and right. Uh, hello, Gara, how are you? What's up? Yeah, that'd be interesting, like, mouse only. That I, that that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> if it would work. Oh, that was so close. Can you make Wii motion steering wheel? I, I, I have no idea. You can probably use mostly anything. Xbox Connect, oh boy. Dance pad, yeah, dance pads. Dance pad would be really cool, but just like, again, I'd have to get one and to buy them brand new, I, they don't really exist brand new for reasonable prices unless someone's like selling them for a deal because they don't make those games anymore. Uh, like all the dancing games use cameras now. Armored core controller. Isn't that thing, like, gigantic? Isn't it, like, wearing a mech suit, practically? <laughs> Saw a girl beat Nameless King with dance pad. That's probably, uh, probably Luality. Yeah, she did, she did the entire game with, uh, dance pad. NES power glove? Oh, boy. I don't know how, how you, you probably, you couldn't use the original NES power glove unless you had, like, an adapter, maybe. I, I don't know if they've made new ones, but... That'd be interesting, though. Atari 2600. I don't even know what that is. Well, I have an idea, but I don't think I've... I don't know if I've seen that before. <laughs> oh, shit. I need to kill these guys. That was a terrible aim. There we go. Okay. Good enough. To stick with a single button. Oh, okay. So physically demanding? Are we talking about the... The Armored Core controller or something? Armored Core 5. The poor slug. Yeah, the slug was kind of... He, he, like, both of his comrades are just bombed by the firebombs. And then, like, he's just left alone by himself awaiting the broadsword. It's pretty mean. NES Duck Hunt Pistol? Oh, wow. How how would you how would you do anything with a pistol? <laughs> Thanos's Infinity Gauntlet. Wow, this is like the most the longest unending suggestion list I've seen in my life. There's at least four hundred runs right now. <laughs> Play with a breathalyzer. Different levels of intoxication or buttons. <laughs> oh, these are. <laughs> I like. I wonder how ridiculous it can get. That's probably like the pinnacle right now. Uh, fight stick. I already have one. I've I've done that already before. Um, I'll do it again, but we have we have done that before. We did uh, fight stick soul level one all bosses plus the first DLC before the second one came out. Uh, Wacom tablet and stylus. That'd be pretty cool. I actually I know people that have them. I don't know if they'd let me borrow it for a run though, or if that would work. Because I don't I don't really do any art, so I don't know if I'd need one. Where can you see this? Um, there's a highlight of it, but it's not on the YouTube, though, so you'd probably have to dig through my highlights. What I will do, though, is I'll promise you that we'll do it again, and I'll do it with all the DLC, and then I will put it on YouTube. So you can... If, if, so if you don't find the other one in the highlights in the meantime, you can see it. Plus, I'm going to be doing a marathon of all the games with um, modifiers that get unlocked throughout the stream, and there's three... Three of them can be active at one time. Ranging from, you know, like, no rolling, no sprinting, 
keyboard as controller, uh, fight stick as controller, oven mitts on on left hand, right hand, one handed, controller upside down, play with face, like like random stuff, like uh, you know, say say sentences backwards while playing, and if you don't if you don't do it properly once, you have to like you know do something else, like just a bunch of like really ridiculous stuff. We we've done we've done that before once, but I have a better list of stuff that will be implemented into it. Uh, and then, yeah, the fight stick will be in that. Hopefully the DJ Hero controller will be in that because I got it for it. <clears throat> and I just, I literally just need one cable, but I cannot find it. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get it, but we'll figure it out. Monitor turned 180 degrees. Yeah, there's actually an upside down run that I can definitely do. Uh, that was something I wanted to do on DS1 that I haven't... Uh, that I haven't done yet, but I have I have a mod that just flips the game upside down. Actually, I think I have it for this too. Uh, and all I'd have to do is just click it on, and then I'd have to have a camera to, sh to prove that my screen's upside down, and that's pretty much it. That, that'd be a pretty easy one. Uh, do you do drunk runs, Ash? I don't drink, so I wouldn't be able to, no. Unfortunately, I would be scared to see how that would go if I did that. <laughs> I'm already a disaster playing this game. Lobos Jr. did that during his charity run. That was funny. Oh, yeah, the upside down. He said it was, like, hurting his eyes, right? Oh, we have way more souls than we even normally have. And I saved one of these still. Oh, but I need... Uh-oh. Oh, I only bought... I only bought, like, four of them, I think. I missed out on some of them. That would explain... Ah, uh, the doctor. What's up, dude? Chop off a limb and hook up a brain electrode that registers commands based on phantom limb syndrome. <laughs> That's like mind control, pretty much. <laughs> or like, I have to be upside. I have to... It's like a, the Batman run instead of the monitor upside down or the game flipped. I have to actually be upside down physically. I swear, this thing makes a sound like it gets aggroed every single time. This time, luckily, it didn't, but... Oh, that that was almost poison. That was really scary. I shouldn't have done that. Because as soon as you take the armor off, the poison rating goes up. Do the yes run, it's a regular run, but you replace every word with yes. That sounds like it could get pretty tiresome. Have you seen David Blaine stab an ice pick through his hand? Yes. I've seen pretty much almost everything he's done that was on video, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's actually, there's some explanations on how that was done. Um... There's some really funny explanations on how it was done, but there's some also somewhat realistic ones as well. Some some theories. Blind run with BB guiding you verbally. We, we talked about that already. I wouldn't want anybody to have to sit there and call out where I have to go. And I don't think she said she. I think she said she didn't want to do that as well. Um, it's just like it's just too tedious, in my opinion. And it's very likely that I wouldn't complete the game because th this game is just like too complicated to. Do the blindfold. I think DS1, you'd have a better chance. Um, I think DS1 or DS2 would be the ones where you'd have a way better chance. But this one just has too much information with the enemies that... Like, there's no way to communicate that much stuff out. Like, or, or get that lucky, right? I didn't flex for you, Hulk. Did you, re did you resub or something? <laughs> or, like, are you talking about, uh, like, on another stream? <laughs> Uh, Trollsy Port, what's up, man? Yeah, it's like the the pace of it and the amount of attacks, it would be it would be really difficult. I'm sorry, it's called the Spider-Man Toby kissing scene run. What? <laughs> okay, I think I think we're getting to a point of not making any sense.
don't think that would be fun. Maybe, yeah, I, I don't... I personally... Even if someone volunteered to sit there and they were really excited about it, I... Like, I could try it, but I don't think it would work. Uh, there's a reason you... Like, people would have already done it and you would have seen them complete. Like, Lobos did DS1 and even that didn't get completed. From what I understand. Um... But obviously, if you have, like, very well, pl like, done planning and you really just, like, you make a command system or, like, a communication system that works well and you practice it, you probably could uh, for DS1. There's just so many variables in this. Uh, Tendarum, how have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> Is that guy running away while he's getting attacked? Uh, thank you for the good luck, dude. Might be easier using sorceries. I guess, yeah, you, if you were doing it on DS1, using sorcery would make it really feasible in comparison to a weapon. That's true. You miss being a human? Oh, dude, you will be. Um, they they approve the whole, or I think they, they confirm that there's the whole uh, cumulative substreaks. So you don't, like, losing a sub doesn't mean that you lose the badge now. I remembered you? Why would I not remember you? Uh, what was the starting class? You start off as deprived, so you have to be still level one. Uh, you're interested to know how people would do Frida or Aldrich no hit. Aldrich is really, really simple in comparison to Frida, but Frida's a lot of backstabs as well. Uh, that's why, then why say no leveling? Because uh, people ask what SL1 means that don't know what Souls is. Or don't, like, play challenge runs. There's still SL1 in the, in the if you just type in the info command, it still says everything. I just have to keep the, the title a certain length because it gets cut off. Uh, 
Uh, Hipsmeister, what's up? How's it going, man? Okay, apparently this works. Or it worked last time. Yay. Is it completely glitchless? Yeah. There are two, like, ultra-cheesy things that aren't actually glitches, but... Um, they just, like, save a lot of time, basically. And hassle. Uh, do you like the doors? I have a couple other songs on the old, old playlist. But yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I'm not like a super fan, but I don't mind them. Where are the cheeses? Uh, the Wyvern Skip and Half Light Poison are pretty, uh, pretty cheesy. Princes, where you sneak behind them? No, not on this run. I did do that on the fat roll run, though. Uh, mana break, what's up? I'm sorry, I didn't even see you pop in chat, dude. Have I ever played Fury? I just watched people play it mostly, so I haven't played it myself. I think I was doing some, I was like probably doing some like serious challenge on this around the time it came out because I think it was like, didn't it release around the time DLC was coming up for this? Or maybe it might have been around the time I was trying to do all bosses, no hits on this game. Uh, Wade's, yeah, I, I answered your question, man. I said that uh, they're pretty cool. I had them on the old playlist. I'm not like a super fan, but I like them. Wait, did you not hear me say that? Or did you, did, you, did the, the video player freeze or something? Oh, you didn't hear? Oh, I see. What is Half Light Cheese? Uh, it's, um. You basically poison him and then you hide and he can't, uh. He can't reach you and the Painting Guardians don't see you. And then he just kind of, like, does a dance while he's poisoned. Because, uh. You have poisoned him from cover where he can't get to you. Ooh, that was almost really good timing. I didn't plan on that, but that was pretty cool though. What is Prince's Cheese? Uh, you can get them to de-aggro if you're in a spot that they can't see you. And then you can just hit uh, Lothric and... If you hit Lorien, he'll turn around, but Lothric can't, like, aggro you without Lorien aggroing you. So you can just kill Lothric off his back without hitting him if you, like, stand at a decent range. How far did I get in the three times mod burritos? Oh, I already, I beat it. I haven't put it on YouTube yet, I just realized that, I forgot. <laughs> Been doing some other stuff, so. Wasn't really thinking about that. Um, but yeah. I did complete it, though. Also, Karan, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Super Seducer Spider-Man DLC. <laughs> Should have pretended that that was intentional. Oh, the the rolly ball. Yeah. <laughs> Seven demons, one cop. Oh, God. Pretty much, man.
Uh, when was the last time you played Dark Souls normally, Eternal? Uh, depends what you mean by normal. Like everyone's definition of that could be different, right? Pleb mode? Like if do you you mean like there's no there's no run? Like it's literally just a uh, I, don't, I probably since my first playthrough or something like that. I don't know. Like, I don't really... I usually have a goal if I play it. Unless it's a modded run. Like, I, I would count modded runs as casual. Except for some of them are pretty damn hard, so... No restrictions, just vanilla. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever actually done that. Like, my first playthrough is SL1, so technically never. But I would count the first playthrough as pretty casual because I allowed deaths and obviously explored as much as I possibly could. I saw basically almost all the game. But, um, yeah, first playthrough is SL1 because it was the last game coming out. And there's, like, a handful of other people that wanted to try it as well, so we just did it together, kind of. Or we, like, made an agreement to try it. And it was definitely fun. It was pretty frustrating, like, streaming the game in the beginning, because people were trying to spoil it for me. But that had nothing to do with the run, really. Uh, what do you do with the sword weapon art when sneaking around that skeleton? Uh, you have to use... Well, I mean, like, the weapon art uh, hides the sound of your footsteps, so you just hold that. And it's the same thing as tiptoeing. It's just easier because you don't have to worry about actually performing the tiptoe, so it's, it's just easier to perform. That's why you have moderators. Uh, moderators at that time were mostly trying to avoid spoilers themselves. So I think there was only like one or two and they couldn't catch everything. And it was in sub only mode and people that were subbed were still spoiling the game. So there's nothing I could really do about it. The only thing I did was I just stopped streaming it. And that was the only way to get through the rest of it without spoilers. It's all right. The next time, like when Sekiro comes out, I probably won't re really be reading chat. Like I'll I'll have chat on like a one maybe like a one minute plus delay, and then I won't really look at it too much. You have some bad subs. I eh, I don't know. I don't blame anybody. Like I feel like there's certain like it's my fault for playing the game. Uh, I can't expect people to follow rules like that. Or or no like some of them didn't know the rules. They just came in, they'd spoil something, and then they'd learn after that they're not allowed to do that. Because they don't read titles, um, or they don't read the info commands. So, technically, like, if you didn't know and you did it before you saw anything, I can't blame you, but it's just, that's what happens when you do first playthroughs. So you have to have other measures, like not reading chat. Upside down run. Uh, don't know what you haven't done yet. <laughs> Upside down. Yeah, upside down was something we talked about. I could definitely do that. I could do that, like, tomorrow if I wanted to. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that'll be our meme run. Can I have the worst headache? Probably. Although I don't, I don't get headaches super easily, so I'm sure it'll be kind of bad, but not, maybe not as bad. Esteban, what's up? How's it going, man? I'm glad you like them. Also, Depod, welcome back as well. You just invert the picture on your monitor. I have a mod that just flips the game, so I can still look at other stuff normally. Uh, 
Uh, burritos, have a good rest of your day. I will see you later, man. Majestuous. You're gonna play Sekiro as soon as it comes out, and by the time you beat it, you'll probably have already mapped out a no-hit run SL1. Well, you can't level in Sekiro, so you wouldn't be able to... Technically, you wouldn't be able to do SL1, but I know what you mean. <laughs> I'll probably take... I'm gonna try to get 100% of the stuff in it. Or find everything I can. I'll play it pretty slowly. Ah, uh, Vinny, what's up, man? Does no leveling mean no weapon leveling either? Um, it just means, like, no leveling the character. Wait, I need more fire bombs too. Do I think Sekiro will have a good waifus? It's pretty anime, probably. Probably, man. I'm I'm curious of how much uh how much dialogue the actual protagonist has in it, or if it's just like he just listens the entire time. Hope they add more special finishers. Yakuza Zero set the standard for you in creative finish. Oh, dude, there's so many critical attacks that they've already shown in like the demo stuff. It's ridiculous, man. There's like a ridiculous amount of ways to do critical attacks. More, more. There's more than necessary in the mechanics, in my opinion, for me to enjoy it. can't look at waifu's bb forbids it <laughs> instant broken bones can't even look at this lady in the chair why did you do dancers so early i won't have a higher upgraded weapon at any point until I kill her. So it's the same thing. So I have plus seven right now. Uh, Vistal, what's up? How's it going, dude? Uh, you've only seen the body video, so you only saw five, and they are pretty similar. Mm. I think they're 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 quite unique. I guess I guess opinions will differ. I, I'm pretty hyped on it though. Don't even care if it's not Bloodborne too. I feel like it's going to be like 2035. People are like, where's Bloodborne 2? Miyazaki's like literally like an old grandpa. Doesn't even work for FromSoft anymore. Like, where's Bloodborne 2? Should be on the radio. Obviously, uh, I appreciate it, man. I have no interest in being on the radio, though. If I had to choose this or the radio, I'd definitely choose this. <laughs> Um, but thank you though. I, I know I know what you mean. I, I have learned that it's uh it's a, you're just trying to be nice. 
I think that any anybody's commentary um, could probably sound like that if they just had a decent audio setup. Like, I feel like majority of everyone I've heard, listened to that has a good audio setup, no matter how they actually sound, regardless of who they are or, or their gender or age or anything, like most people say that to them regardless. So, <laughs> I think it's just the quality of the audio is bridging or approaching that level maybe, or it's getting close to that level. Still on the path of the dragon, the animation was funny. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see what uh, what I can help with on the next one. I really wanted to be Half-Light, but he was saying that Half-Light wouldn't have any dialogue. So, uh, I wonder what else there is that you could do. Uh, what, Mike? I use a uh, Sure SM7B. Uh, how did the three times boss enemy mod go? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Like, I, I don't know. It was it was highly frustrating, excessively silly, super funny, and super fun all rolled together. So there was times where I, I, I hated it, and there's times where I enjoyed it a lot um, because some things were just ridiculous. And it did take a lot of luck to beat a sizable portion of the difficult stuff. So some things happen like very quickly and some things, um, you know, I was on them for like a decent amount of time and then like just instantly like the, I just had like a really good attempt on them. It wasn't really like a progression. Uh, Demon Prince, Demon Princes took some skill though. Demon Princes wasn't as much luck. It was definitely... A high amount of skill, but uh, there there was a little bit of luck involved in terms of how quick it would take to beat them, or how fast it'd be. Man, there's a lot of pressure with that guy chasing to get that armor part correctly. Is no healing talisman a hit? Uh, no, because it doesn't do damage and it doesn't stagger the character. That, that would be counted as a debuff, so that, and then if uh, Wilhelm uses the debuff where you can't use magic, uh, those are both just debuffs. They, they, don't, they don't actually physically harm the character or stagger them. They, they don't they don't they don't affect the status of anything on the character that exists it's just the inability to use a certain item that it pertains to Uh, why use raw gem instead of sharp? Because uh, I'm level one, so I don't get any scaling on my weapon. So all my stats are 10. If I was using uh, Cellsword Twin Blades, for some reason, Cellsword Twin Blades still do better with sharp, even without levels. I don't know why. So, like, if you were going to do that, you could do SL1 Cell Sword Twin Blades with the Sharp Gem. There's just not really a reason of using them on this run, because uh, you need two rings to use them. And that puts you at a disadvantage of the other rings you could use with this weapon. Uh, Reverend Trout, what's up? Dude, I was listening to your band before I streamed. I really like your band, man. I was going to ask you, is there a way that I can uh, get the music? Like, can you just buy it from Bandcamp? Or, like, can, can I get it on Spotify somehow? 
and add it to the playlist. I think I listened to the first song on that album and I was just like, this is really good. Spotify link. I don't, well, he sent me a Bandcamp link, but um, yeah, I definitely want to put it on the playlist if he's okay with that. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> or just have it on my own playlist. I don't know. Or some, you do have songs on Spotify. Nice. Okay. I hope the one I listen to is on Spotify. Uh, have you seen the AI of teleporting dogs? Uh, teleporting dogs, the way it works is if you if you don't look at them, they teleport because they get, the way they program them is really lazy. And they just, they don't, like, animate their running. Um, they just, like, reposition the enemy location as you're moving. But if you look at them, they'll actually, they won't teleport. Alright, um... I guess we're fine for Sage, right? They're assassin dogs. <laughs> there's other there's other enemies that uh, that do it too. Mike is four hundred. Ah, uh, yeah, roughly. Well, I mean, like an American, probably. Uh, it's like one of the it's like one of the most. Uh, it's one of the best. Not like okay. There's certain there's there's mics that are like really really expensive that are just, that that are not. Can, it's probably the highest end consumer grade mic with the RE20, like those two. Um, I think it was used for like 40% of every single music recording in history. It's very good for singers. Um, it's good for like radio and stuff like that too. But uh, yeah, there's mics that are better, but they're just not like affordable for an individual. It wouldn't make any sense to, and they, they wouldn't they wouldn't be needed for spoken word in like a situation like this or even singing, it would probably, uh, I don't know, I don't know what, I have no idea what you'd use them for. Maybe like a movie set or something, I don't know. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. It's kind of like cameras, like this is like the DSLR camera of cameras, not like a red camera though that you'd use for like filming a, like a motion picture. <laughs> I have like just enough. Uh, 400 for a Twitch stream is not cheap. Probably overkill. Uh, it's overkill if you don't, if you, if, if you're not investing in your channel for like full time. Uh, if you're not a full time streamer, like don't get any of the stuff that I have. Uh, when I started streaming, until I was partnered, I had a computer that was like 250 dollars, and that's it. And I think the mic I had was free because it came with something. Oh, no, 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 wait, no. I got a blue snowball, which is like 40 bucks, or like 50 bucks. And I think that was actually just funded by the channel, just revenue and stuff like that. Uh, so that wasn't even out of my pocket. And my computer, w like, I couldn't even run a giveaway on a botter, it would crash. Like, if, a if 100 people entered a giveaway, it would crash the computer. So, like, I did a 24-hour stream, and I couldn't close the bot without crashing windows, so I had to, like, leave it frozen, sitting there until I finished, and then as soon as I closed it, it crashed my computer. Uh, it didn't even have, a, like, a GPU and a CPU, it just had, like, one integrated chip, uh, and it was meant for mainly just doing casual stuff, like typing documents in an office or something, so... Uh, don't invest in anything until you c can, like, you know, guarantee it's worth it, right? Because um, it all pays back. Like, I, I haven't made any investments that haven't been worthwhile. Uh, Ens, thank you very much for using your Prime sub here, man. Enjoy your remotes. Enjoy being a skeleton. And, and, and even after being partnered, I didn't get better audio for a while. Like, this was after, like, years of doing it. And even then, there's people that are, like, extremely successful that don't have that, but they don't pride themselves on that aspect of the channel because they, they might have other things they think that are worthwhile that 
uh, you know, where they don't need that great of audio. Uh, and that's fine, you know, because I'm not using a face cam and I'm just like talking, like I need the audio to be really good. Cause that's the aspect of like, that's one of the things that I want people to, uh, you know, I guess like get their money's worth out of and their time's worth out of. If you're somebody, you're just like, you've been watching for a long time. I still use cheap headphones. My headphones are real, are pretty cheap. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have better headphones than these ones that I don't use for streaming because they get uncomfortable after a while. And those are still pretty cheap in the world of like monitoring and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's because like there's nothing there's nothing I would need to hear on a game that would need to be at the price point higher than what I have it at. Because you're still going to hear the game sound the same, even if I have better headphones, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you play from Intel integrated graphics? It was it was an AMD APU. I think it was the A6 chip or something like that. It's really really bad. Um, like you can't you couldn't really play games on it. To to stream DS2 in like I think the bitrate I had was a thousand or something like that. DS2 had a thousand bitrate in 1160 by 800, not even 720 resolution. Lowest settings possible. And I had to uh, do it on one monitor, so I had the game in like a really tiny window, and then I put the chat in like the smallest window beside it, and OBS was underneath, so every time someone followed, I had to actually like tab out and surface the window to check who followed. Uh, but it, it worked, it, like I made it work for a while. Cause I didn't, I didn't plan to stream full time. I just wanted to do it as a hobby in the beginning. But it was, it was really bad though. <laughs> Nothing compared to people that invest, like, right away. But I would say don't invest right away unless you're in the position to do so and you really enjoy it that much and want to give people that quality. And, like, invest when it's right. Uh, Corpse Jack, thank you. Hope you choke on Artorius. <laughs> Artorius isn't even in this game. Why don't you use a face cam? Uh, I just don't feel I need to. It's not the type of channel I want to have. I mean, I'll use it for like certain things when I need to show something, but like not on a regular basis though. I don't know why that guy's being so crazy. He's gonna fall into this elevator. That was almost really unlucky. Gonna die to Nishandra. <laughs> uh, definitely don't great stream without it, thanks. <laughs> uh, just like to hear music and audio on god tier yeah I know some people are like super super picky about that as long as it's like mi mid range for me like like a decent audio quality that's fine for, for listening um, but there's like nothing I need to do that needs to be monitored meticulously so if there is a day where that's the case, I'll have to. I won't. I won't have a choice but to get things that are better tools for actually like hearing things like that. But not yet, though. Meme police, what's up? How's it going? What monitor? Uh, it's a little bit of an older Ben Q, and then. For chat, it's like a really old. Well, not. I. I guess at this point, really old is like what like six seven years right I, I don't know if six or seven years is that old but i would say it's like a seven year old tv it's like one of the first smaller led tvs so it's like monitor size uh really good color contrast ratio Ter it doesn't have 1080p resolution though so it's uh not uh like the sizing of everything is really weird 
And I do have to replace it at some point or just add like an actual 1080p screen for chat. So I can actually see more stuff, but... Um, for the game, yeah, it's like a BenQ that just has like two millisecond response time. So I, it's not too bad. Um, I might just use the BenQ for chat and then replace the BenQ with a 120 hertz one millisecond response time. So that just the game plays better. Yeah, it's it's just a 60 hertz. It's like a regular, regular boring BenQ. I like it though. I mean, I've had it for a while. I think this one's like almost four plus years old. Or, I think I got I got it like half a year into streaming, so almost four years. Well, I mean, like when it was made, it probably came out like the year before that, so it's probably like five years old. But I've had it for like three and a half or something. Uh, decent 1080p monitor for 80, but oh yeah, like they're really cheap. It's not really about the money, it's more about like the space and how I'm going to set it up. I need to get like a triple mount, and apparently triple mounts aren't that common. Uh, or I can double mount then have one that's not on one, but I don't really want to do that. So I really got to figure out how I want to do that, where it helps the space situation. Quad mount, no balls. <laughs> we're, we're trading stocks all of a sudden. Just got hate mail on PS4. Oh my god. <laughs> on on Soul Calibur? Man, why do I keep getting thick deacons?
No damage deacons is some resident sleeper. Yeah, this fight on no hits and uh, no damage is pretty bad. Wow, a Valdo tune? What does a Valdo tune mean? Is that, is that where someone is mad that you picked a character that's in the game? Like, wow, you chose this character that's available for everyone to play, even myself? You're really good, haha. <laughs> of course you picked th this character. Of course you p use the button that's on the controller, haha. <laughs> wow, you have to beat me by pushing that button? Lol, you're pretty bad. Oh, you're okay, like you created the character, I see. My bad. Thinking back to DS2 PvP times on PS3, so much hate and salt. Oh, the, the hate mail on that was flowing. I remember that. People getting mad at me when you kill them with R1 spam using a longsword. <laughs> no, the best was like when you when they roll and you use the like the the, the top tier strats were like you use the, like if you use the longsword, it would all it would be all about the um, the two hand roll poke, and then you'd you'd basically you'd get the running attack, running R1, rolling R1, and then like the R2 whenever they rolled the roll catch after uh, you do the running R1. And they would get so fucking mad because they'd keep making the same mistake and rolling into it and not understanding how it works. And they'd just be like, you're cheating. It's like, not really. I remember there was a guy that, um, one of my favorite PvP streamers, also another person that, uh, was really fun to like play against like he made a tournament with all like the best players that was uh it was like a prize ca a tournament or a cash tournament based on how many wins you get in the arena only using the long sword without dying and the winner got like 80 something kills in a row without dying i think i got like 30 something and the dude that beat me won by timing out the match by running away the entire time and when you get a draw to lose on the rules of the tournament you have to beat them so like even if you have more health than they have you still lose by the rules and he knew that it, the tournament was happening and he stream sniped me and just ran away the entire time um but i, I won i won the smallest cash or no sorry i almost won the smallest cash prize and then um what it was gonna be is basically if there's a tie you'd have to do a best of five with that person and the other person that I did a best of five with was also from Canada too, so it was pretty cool. Um, only other Canadian person playing in it, and uh, I almost beat him in the best of five, but it was super, it was super fun using the longsword because people people that are really good at PvP and that they usually avoid it. Like the top tier PvP community avoided it because they knew it was too easy to win with. So like getting to literally just go on crazy kill streaks with it and like how clenchy it would get when someone would actually be good. Uh, or someone stream sniped you that was from your own community that knew how to play the game pretty well. It's like, like the heartbeat was going there. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, the longsword is really good in DS2 PvP. It's it's very very good. Um, it's not the best weapon, but it's it's like one of the best. Um, like it's just super easy to like if you know what to do with it to get people to make mistakes and all that. Any links to that tournament? Uh, I don't know if he put it on YouTube. I think it was just on stream. So I, I don't think there'd be links for it. This was like in 2015, like early 2015. Why would someone from your own community want to sabotage you? Oh no, he wasn't like someone that watched my channel regularly. He just tuned into the tournament on my stream and is like, I'm going to make this guy lose by running away because he thought it was funny. Dude, there's so many douchebags that played the play PV. Like you have to think of how, like some people were like really young too. It was like kids, so. Um, like he just thought it was funny because I guess he knew the rule was if there was a draw that I lose so yeah it was fun either way but 
they didn't let me get like a redo for it or anything. Uh, so mad since you found out Scythe of the Forlorn in DS2 is exclusive and you have to have the season pass. You can get somebody to drop it for you, dude. Or uh, go online. Like, what what console do you play on? If you're on console, just download the uh, the Mega Mule file on your computer and put it on the console on a USB or something like that. And then you'll have you can just have every weapon in the game. Um, oh, on PC you can just yeah you can just download the save file that has all the weapons. And, and get it it's pretty easy and you won't you won't get in trouble for it either it's not like it's it's not like a hacked account or anything it's just like someone that legitimately farmed all the weapons and then put their save file online if you really want to use it because like no one has time to get a character with all the weapons in that game if you just want to play PvP and like you've already made so many characters already right uh Vasily what's up welcome back Mega Mules don't work on PS4 anymore, I think, or you did it wrong. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure like if there's anything that's changed on PS4 for it, but I know that the PC one works. Don't mind me, I'm just an old man sliding into the corner trying to hide from the enemies. Okay. <laughs> Which f f uh, Fire Witch ignores you when camouflage. Uh, you just ha he can't hear your footsteps and their, their uh, visual aggro is really bad. It's kind of like Silver Knights, like you can be beside them and they won't see you. So as long as you're like in line with them, uh, these guys, you can be a little bit ahead of them, but you just can't be directly in front of them or make sound. Uh, so yeah, they can still see you like this. You just have to make sure you're, like, going at the right time. It helps a little bit. Okay, that was like a really early arrival right here. You never get the old man with the hump, it's always the tall dude. <laughs> I wonder if the hitboxes of the statues matter. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, you have 1900 hours in this game and you never knew that. You love the challenge run community. Uh, Hilgara, oh yeah. Me too. I, I didn't know you could do that either until like weeks ago. I mean, I know you can use the branch to turn into a camouflaged object, but like, I didn't know you could use that that to your advantage in that particular spot, um, with any kind of like run that you're doing. Like, it's pr it's a pretty universal strat. All you have to do is pick up the branch in the beginning of the game, so you don't you don't even actually have to start with it. Challenge run community loves you too, sort of. Some of it might. Some of it, maybe. Uh, you said last night you can kill Wyvern from jumping on the stairs. Oh yeah, of course. That was a new thing for you? Um, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't saying that the jump thing was a new thing. It was uh, the fall damage from jumping on, which you just reminded me of, actually. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> no, the new thing was that I've never actually taken, I never knew that you took damage from falling off his head, but the, the time I did it before, I never did take the fall damage. I landed in a spot where I never took uh, any gravity damage from it. So I need to actually spook before I do the plunge. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't the strat. Like, I've done that for a while. That's actually what's done on a speedrun. What's the red glow? It's uh, Lloyd Sword Ring, yeah. Two-handed great swords don't have pivot animations until yesterday. 
don't have pivot animations. Uh, wait, what do you mean by that? Like, you can't, like, direct the attack? Uh, Chorin, the run's going pretty good. How are you doing? Am I, am I in the right segment right now? Let me check. No, I'm not. <laughs> of course. There we go. Uh, the game looks better every time you watch. Do you mean like visually or just something else? Because my game does look different because I downloaded uh, a mod that apparently like patches the game with files that change or up it like updates physics and certain visuals to make it run better when you uh, when you use the, th the three times enemy mod. So some areas actually look a little bit different uh, and, and performance wise it's actually it hasn't ran uh, this well for a while so there's no stutters and there's like basically no frame drops anymore. Uh, I think it just takes some things away, and then there's there's particular areas that look darker that make it look better. Uh, did you see the 10k after Dancer? I know where it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to get it. I don't think I saw like the thing of how you get it, but I I know where it is though. No hit runs are harder than regular speed runs. Uh. Depends on how fast the speedrun is. If we're talking about a world record speedrun at this point, then the world record speedrun would be harder than the than the uh, no hit run, definitely. If it's just like any time in general, you could easily just do a speedrun that has a terrible, or like not a terrible time, but like a, like a good time for you, but it would be terrible in relation to the world record if you're comparing it to like first place. And then that wouldn't be that bad. Like you, you can make a lot mis a lot of mistakes. If the room for mistakes was like virtually nothing on the speed run, then that would be a lot more stressful to do. And you'd have to have a lot more luck than you'd have to have in a no hit run to do that too. Uh, when you run and change direction, you make a pivot. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay. Oh wait, when you when you have a two-hand greatsword, you can't pivot. That's actually insane. I didn't know that. That's a, that's a that's something new. Uh, Coltrane's doing the speed run of DS3. Yeah, he. I think he's trying to get the record for all bosses, right? He he's like one of my favorite speedrunners because he's like really chill. His his attitude is uh like unbreakable. I don't I don't know how to explain it other than that. I've, I've only seen him get mad for a very small amount of seconds, and then he instantly just goes back to being fine again. Never seen Coltrane rage since watching him either. Yeah, it's he's he's like really positive. That's why you sub to him. That's good. Uh, what do you think about any percent no hit category for speedrunning? Can it work? Uh, Gino Machino has been doing no hit speedruns. So if you if you want to see those, I definitely go there. I don't think I don't think Speed Souls is gonna put a category on the website for no hit because it just doesn't match well with the other stuff. It's like too specific in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean like if you want to do that, you definitely you definitely could. And there's some people that have. Okay, is he gonna be trolly again? Only the swipes, man.
Wish there was a way to like force that follow up. Right, or there's a higher chance of getting it after he've already parried him once. That'd be really good. and welcome back what's up dude thinking that you do some ds speedrun asmr um oh i i quit speedrunning this game i it's too frustrating for me to do like this is already frustrating enough the i i don't have the the mental uh archetype to do it well i, I don't think i'd have to like work on how, like i'd have to like really work on it and i don't think that it's worth doing I think I think they're really cool though. I like I like watching them sometimes and stuff, but I had I had all the fun I could have with speedruns and then it just got salty. I might actually just switch back to going the other way. Do a run where you play with us weights. I actually did that really recently, like weeks ago. Uh, I'll probably do another one. I, I wanted to do like one a month, so I'll do another one. Uh, probably on Bloodborne coming up next. Oh, I'm supposed to spook right here. And then there's a higher chance of those guys chasing me because of that. No roll run is the hardest thing he's tried. Oh yeah, I, I could already have told you that before. I mean, like, I don't think he tried no rolling by itself without the goal of no hitting the game. No, no rolling is not, um, no rolling is like good by itself if you, if you really are into that, but like to put resets on it is just, uh, not as feasible because there's, there's situations where there's nothing, like it, there's a certain attacks you can't handle. Like there's nothing you can do about it. The run's over if it, the attack gets decided by the game. So uh, there's no actual way to handle everything. It's just a lot of uh, luck in the entirety of the run. And then not to mention how hard it is to actually do it when you can handle things, uh, especially for like Cinder and, and Princes, like it's very demanding. Okay, I'm not being chased, am I? <laughs> Clickbait. 12 hit, no roll run is pretty good progress. Cinder is crazy with it for sure. I think if he like sticks with it over time for a long time, he could do it. Definitely. Um, I think anybody could do it. It's just like, how long is it going to take to complete it? Yeah, right. But if anyone was, he'd probably do the best. Uh, can you spook and run behind those guys? Or do you have to tiptoe? Um, I think you can run behind a decent amount of them. Definitely. Uh, I just wouldn't chance it because like some of them turn around sometimes still. He was only concerned about Cinder. Well, Princess has the attack that uh, it's impossible to avoid. So, um, that that happens. <gasps> oh, God. I guess, oh, yeah, but he also, that, that was like a stored roll right there. I didn't mean to roll. Um, yeah, he, uh, I know that he was like trying to use the bow to like do a running attack into the spot that you need to get the Diagro on the Princess. Is it only considering base game bosses for the no roll? Yeah. And unless you mean this.
grinding runs to rule the day, day sun princes pretty much yeah and like how how often are you going to make it there i want to i would be curious to see how the areas get handled but yeah i would be totally hyped to see that happen i'm sure you can do it still pretty scary though It's not too bad. Got like a really good attack on that. I'm trying to think of anything I might need to remember on this part now. I think we're just going to Distant Manor, that's it. Uh, Raho, what's up? Gara, if you're going to sleep, I hope you have a good rest. Thank you for hanging out. Unless someone else is going to bed. I'm pretty bad with that stuff sometimes. I'm like, who's going to bed? Who's saying bye? What day is it? I might actually want bundles on this part. So I could possibly kill. I don't know if it would ha would help too much, but it might be able to make me OP. And I could kill these guys in like two hits, maybe. Oh yeah, it would definitely kill them in two hits. Yeah, bundles would be way better. Cause I'm only missing like a fraction of damage. I guess Pontifering might help. No, it doesn't. I wasn't even using Pontifering right away. I just realized. Okay, now I am. It probably would be worth switching for archives, though. Probably should just get used to switching it for, like, anything that's running. Lion, I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you. Whoa. That chain is vibrating. That was actually really good timing on that. Uh, Hillary, what's up? Uh, okay, wait, one second, one second. I'm gonna read that right after the sketchy part happens.
Okay, sketchy part happened. Nice. Um, you're in your friend stream and you said that you were friends with me and you and say you on saw you on the weekend and he said he wanted to say hi from him. Who is it? D does he know me? Do I know him? Uh, also, Kevin, what's up? What's my PB on DLC in this run? Um, well, oh, actually, I didn't. I didn't input the PB of the last run we did yesterday into the the thing. We had ten total. Uh, DLC two is perfect, I think, and then DLC one I took a lot. But we got we got the perfect DLC two, which is really cool. I'm pretty sure pretty sure. I hope I'm not wrong about that. I think that's correct. Uh, wait, have a good sleep. I will see you later. Thank you for hanging out. May the RNG gods be on my side today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Grave oh yeah, Grave Tender. Well that was my fault though. I was playing Grave Tender irresponsibly. <laughs> like I was I was trying to run around him when he could have done an attack that kinda cuts me off on the right side of him. When there is a wall on the right side. So anytime I feel like I can't make like wide right turns, I need to basically just roll. Cause you can't roll punish the other attack easily, but I can uh can just dictate how much space I have and then do it. Thank God the storm really doesn't use the blue bar, by the way. I just realized my blue bar is like low from the spook. Uh, Uzi Russian hacks. What's up? <laughs> what is with this, this O, O, the O's and the ones? Have I done a Yorm cosplay run yet? Uh, no, I have. I have used his weapon before. I've done a run with his weapon. Using seven numbers. Did you know binary uses eight numbers? Ah, uh, cute. What's up? How's it going? It's the language of my people. I thought you were writing a gent song. Beep boop. I guess the the one good thing about this part is you don't actually have to set up the uh, tier stone, so you save a little bit of time right here. Like the pace of this any percent right now is really good, even with the slightly longer deacons. I don't know if it could get too much better speed wise. Although I yeah, I did script a little bit of stuff in the beginning. To be fair, there was that.
It's like every any Amir song ever. <laughs> oh man. Just put like a, a space every three in its Meshiga. And maybe some like some carrots for the bends. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Wait, I don't actually have to make a trip back. What am I so doing? The world might be mended. That's not even important. Main Lord. Damn, thank you for the ten months in a row, man. Welcome back. I appreciate that, dude. How was that game you were playing? I, I only was able to lurk for like five minutes. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I just noticed. I like clicked on your stream and I saw I had the resub, so I'm like, I'm just going to do this. If you guys like uh, MMOs and RPG style games, uh, and you just like quality entertainment, go follow Light It Up Dan. He's, he's playing a new MMO today, but uh, he's, he's playing Maple Story 2 a little bit. He plays Monster Hunter, he plays Dauntless. Sometimes he plays Souls. Um, generally any new game that's really cool i think he played destiny a little bit as well but uh he's been one of my favorite early streamers like morning people for a while and if you follow him right now for the low price of zero dollars and zero cents you can guarantee that he will be calling you his dude You are guaranteed to be his dude. Even if you're a lady, you'll still be his dude. Such a deal. Follow him now. What else could you ever ask for? I don't know why I didn't... Did I hit him with the firebomb? What happened there? That was really strange. I don't know. I actually don't know what happened. Oh, God. Sketchiness. This is where we're just going to try to, like, throw a bomb from a safe spot to get him to move back. Um, He might just come back by himself. I don't know if he actually needs the bomb. I think he just tries to look for you. Then we just need that attack. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Get to the chopper now. Do it. Oh no. Archives is monk ass. Oh yeah. Well now it's even more monk ass because we have to get a ring that we normally wouldn't even get. It's like monk ass plus. With the new iPhone display with extra pixels and stuff. And cool fucking commercials that flash like images in front of your face every one and a half seconds that make you possibly question what you're seeing why is this guy not going this way i don't like this Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel okay he's being weird let strength be granted so the world might be mended super monk ass turbo so the world might be mended uh wolf thank you for the 16 months in a row Welcome back, dude. How have you been?
Nice. Strange Ranger, get to the chopper. <laughs> uh, if Dark Souls 3 is so good, why isn't there Dark Souls 3 too? Uh, probably because... <sighs> Todd Howard will buy FromSoft and then make it a mobile game. If she wore shoes, they would slow her down, probably. Probably. What if what if this is just a bodysuit and the face is why like it's like the clear giveaway? I think I can see a seam on the neck. She probably just jumps into a bodysuit that looks like a person. It's actually an alien inside. DS2 Ultra? Oh it would and it's like it's like 1.5 times faster than the normal game. <laughs> got like extra characters from DS2 in it. <laughs> Everything has like a like a like a shininess to it as well, just to make it look cooler. Ashen one. What? Be careful. I think Andre is the only person that actually worries about how I am Soul of the lost on this. From its vessel. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. We zero o zero o. Uh, NV Logic, thank you for the nine months in a row. I appreciate that. What is the subchild's name? Everything looking on Unreal Engine looks shiny, but this is Havoc. Oh yeah, Havoc made the engine for this, that's true. Yeah, Unreal Engine's really cool. I don't know if I would like Souls on Unreal Engine, though. I can't say for sure, but how can you enjoy DSR? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I think that's up to you, isn't it? Uh, also, yeah, I'll check and see how many levels I'll get. Uh, I would estimate it's probably like... Duh. Considering I spent a lot more on items, maybe like 30 levels? 30 to 40 levels? Uh, Plate, what's up, dude? Would I play a Dark Souls mobile game? I'm not really into mobile games. Um, I would try. I would try a Dark Souls mobile game, or like try the Switch version, but I wouldn't buy it or like play it myself seriously. Uh, okay, we need Dark Resin as well, and then I think that's good for all the stuff. I'm gonna eat one of these before I go in because I bought eight of them. Oh god, thank god that was a, a safe attack. Oh god. I had the pivot right there. That, I've never actually had that before. That was a really safe time to get a pivot, though. Thank God. That was a little bit jumpy. I, I got really tilted by that pivot thing. Tilted pat 
tilted towers. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was like really tilting because uh, I mean, the only thing he could have done there was that attack. But just like I, d I don't know how I got a skid locked on like that. Like the that's just such a tilting animation. Like it's so stupid that they that that's even a thing in the game. Like why would there be an inconvenience of making a turn backwards? I, I, I don't know. Like why would there be like a bigger like a, p a penalty for turning? If it's a particular angle, I just, I've never understood that. But yeah, it's really silly. Is this Fortnite paper? It is, yeah. Pro t oh yeah, the leveling up so I could check how many. I didn't do that. Well, I mean, I we'll still be able to after this. I don't think I'll like lose all the souls at any point. I could retrieve them, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll make sure. I think it, it would be really cool to check at the very end, but I guess I don't really want to go back to the fire link after Gale if I don't need to.
dying to living failures, you're one of them. <laughs> oh shit, I just like drank my GG. water backwards. V sweat, thanks man, I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. That last grab was close. He he only can follow up the kick with the grab. Uh so I knew it was gonna happen. I wouldn't have punished the kick. I, I usually don't punish kicks, my stamina's not good enough. Or my timing's not good enough, but like yeah, it was it was safe though. I could have even hit him twice if I wanted to. How'd I drink it backwards? Like I like it was the wrong side of like there was no mouthpiece on the on the side I tried to drink it. <laughs> uh alright. Oh, I used all the lightning resin though, so I gotta go and get I could get more early or I could use the bundles for Osiros. I have six. Uh I think six is enough. Maybe. They do more damage, I might as well. Uh, I'm gonna just do the tree first and stuff like that. You saw the clip earlier? Because you said something about my name and I missed what you said, so I wanted to like listen to it again. <laughs> uh, Vinny, have a good rest of your day, man. Uh, and or, or a good stream if you're streaming, regardless of what it is. Hope you have a good day. Thank you for hanging out. You never pu uh, push the kicks because... You're the one punished by them. Yeah, they're they're like one of the hardest attacks to avoid. Cause uh, his his upper leg hits you before his the foot extends, uh, depending on your positioning and stuff like that. Wish I had charcoal pine bundles. I'm just gonna use this. And before I go, Zambiti squeals, 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 good luck. Ah, Vinny, thanks. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Many balls, such tree. <laughs> this tree has balls. Oh yeah, we're gonna check and see how much I could level for. Let's let's see. Also, that was like an under two hour any percent, which is really good. I think I saved like 35 minutes versus the original run. Oh, okay, that's a lot of levels. Uh 58 levels. And now to pop all the souls too. I'm not gonna uh, do that right now because I don't need to. I, I need, I, just in case I need to buy more stuff, I'm gonna keep them. But I could do that at the end. I, I can imagine I could probably level to like uh, close to 100 by the end with everything pop. Be cool if you could like use spook and like sneak the wake up on this.
I don't know what this guy's doing. He's just confused. I don't really like the singing on this one. Ah, uh, Bomb Booma, what's up, dude? Or wait until he gets old and die. I'm just waiting for the spit attack. This isn't a good spot for him to do it, though. Watch him do it like twice. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not in for the hammer shenanigans anymore. I don't want to deal with that stupid stuff. I'll waste extra minutes on him. We got, we had an attack where he literally, like I played him aggressively and you literally just get stuck in the hammer even if you don't get hit and it just, it stops you from moving. You can't dodge the attack. Ah, uh, Lulu, what's up? How's it going? I saw you like, there was something on Twitter that you like posted or, or I, it was in my notifications somehow. It might've been something, some sort of interaction. I saw a picture of your face and I was like, oh, that's... That's what you look like. Now nah, I know your address and your blood type and DNA. Uh oh. Was I disappointed? Why would I be disappointed? <laughs> Ignorant slaves. How quickly you forget. Do I remember um, who resubbed anti-mid? Sorry, I had to see that. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't know, so it was, it was interesting, though. Uh, v Sweat, thanks, man. Better delete it? No, you don't have to. I don't think your profile thing had, like, a, a like you on it before. It was just like... Or maybe it did. I don't know. It was something else before. I don't. I still don't re remember it being that. So yeah, we're doing these with uh, bundles. Uh, does anybody know Osiris' weakness next to lightning? Like, what's the next best thing? Is he weak to dark resin? Is dark resin acceptable for this? Can I use that? I would assume that's what it would be. Frost. Yeah, but like between dark and fire, what would what would typically do more? Like, just in case. Um, well, oh, yeah, wait, you resubbed Animid, Jack? Was it you? Someone should fess up. Did you want to resub him? Lightning, Frost, Frost, Bleed. So, like, Fire and Dark are equal? I just mean out of the stuff I actually have available. That's. I guess I should have said that. I shouldn't have used that right away. Thank you. 
That was like super monk ass, man. That was cutting it close. Jesus, dude. And I still had more than enough of these. I just wasted one at the beginning. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Got turns back around. I should spook again. It's the path of the dragon, dude. Oh, do I have not have enough for spook on? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter though. I don't need it for this part. Z Culpster number two. Wow, that those hours. No, it's really funny. Culpster like told me when we were hanging out like so many times how many hours he had in my stream. I think he likes to talk about it. He's like, well, I do have this many hours in your stream. It's like, okay, fine. Uh, okay. Guess we don't need any buffs for this. Uh, I don't actually even need anything at all. I don't even need to play. Okay, that's a lie.
Murder. Okay, uh, now we gotta go profane capital. Do I put the weapon away? Uh, no. It's not, it's not like seeding anything, it's basically, uh, you can't parry with your bare hand unless you don't have the weapon. I'm gonna use spook on this in case I miss this drop, because I think that would be smart. It's like something I wouldn't think of doing. Uh, Jeb, what's up, dude? Yeah, spook for wyvern's a really good idea. I think you have the perfect amount of time to do it as well. Thank you for the reminder, though. And then I think for the... Uh, actually, I'll spook at the bonfire after I, like, arrive at the second part of the peak because then it should run out like right after I need to fall off that one ledge. I'm just not, I don't remember if you actually have to take fall damage there. I think you can, I think you can if you jump or something or if you're like launching off of it, but uh, what does Spook do? It nullifies fall damage until the point of if you like were gonna die from falling. And it makes your character's face look super cool. Wait, why was there a jailer doing doing mist? Oh, I probably shouldn't have went through it so close to the wall. That was a bad scene for a second. Oh, because I don't hit a bonfire in between this. I shouldn't be using Spook so much. I only have like two more. Okay, I can't use it again. Unless I get blue Gatorade, which I didn't pick up, so. No electrolytes. Blue is best flavor? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't need the torso stone, but I took it. I think I should do this because it's something I wouldn't think of doing. <laughs> I have transcended. <laughs> no, because like if I fall off the ledge there, I take fall damage, but I, I would live. It wouldn't kill me, uh, but it would obviously ruin this run. It would be a mistake in this run. Go dragon mode? I could, but... It might be distracting. Matthew Shesman might pop up and kill me or something like that. Uh, also, can't you do a jump attack on this boss on the ground to one-shot it? It's uh, on the ledge, yeah. Well, you can go from the top of the stairs as well. It depends on the hitbox, the weapon. It has to basically calculate that you've fallen for, like, a frame, at least. I would imagine it would be at least, like, like a frame minimum. And then if, if you come in contact while dropping any amount uh, with the head, it's just meant to kill it because it dies from a plunge attack.
Is that even possible? No, it's not. It's just fake. It's Photoshop. I don't like this guy chasing me. Okay, we should probably go back and get lightning resin. Sketchy AF, yeah, that was pretty. That was that was Monka Monka double S. <laughs> it's because I sh I shouldn't have tried to throw the skull. I didn't think he was gonna chase. He doesn't always do that, but uh, should just do that part normally and then throw the skull the second time. I guess that's it. I guess that'll do. All right. Ah, uh, Fankazi, how's it going? If I don't know if that's you saying hi or not, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Has anyone killed it without the jump attack? Oh yeah, there's there's many different ways to do it. You could do like other jump attacks. You can do the main jump attack. You can do uh, arrows. I, I you might be able to. I think you can poison it as well. Um. You can get it to fall off the map itself. There's, there's like, several different ways. F getting it to fall off is kind of difficult, though. That's more of, like, just... You, you gotta get a little lucky for that. Uh, I think we're gonna do... I guess I could just use bundles and then fire resin, right? though. Oh, I guess I do want to do that because I want to be able to buff phase two, right? Just in case he does this shit.
I don't like where we are. Yeah, that was the only thing that was really sketchy about that is I don't like being back here because there's invisible walls that will make it impossible to dodge the one attack the way I plan to do it. So it wouldn't be like I and I wouldn't know when they happen. So that's like really dangerous, basically. All right. Um, I don't think we need anything for DLC. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. I mean, like, some people cut runs up. Like, they'll just fail later on, like, all content. Like, they'll just do all bosses right off the bat and then cut off part of it and say they did technically all bosses or, like, just any percent. So, um, not so sure I'm going to do that with this because I really just want to do all boss plus DLC, but I don't know. That's technically all the bosses without the DLC. Why do you like so much DS3? Because... Miyazaki haunts my dreams and makes me play it. Uh, invisible wall screwed you up so many times trying to defeat him. Yeah. It does happen. Okay. I'm going to get more blossoms soon, too. Uh, Bloodborne 2 leak from new from soft VR uh, Coca I didn't know I saw this like title of a video saying like that the VR game what was Bloodborne 2 it was just like a way of them to conceal it a way for them to conceal it or something or like an interesting way of like showing I don't know there's like there's like a speculation that it actually was supposed to be Bloodborne 2 just not the same genre of game right Characters must feel like leather by now. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Crystarium, what's up? How's it going? How are you doing, dude? Uh, Witcho, how are you? Arania, welcome back. Uh, also, Jack, have a good sleep, dude. I will see you later. Are you weird? 
for only liking Bloodborne as much as DS3 after reading Pale Blood Hunt. Well, if you if you like the games for story and stuff, I heard that was actually a pretty good thing to read. I haven't read that yet, but I probably should. Oh, the game itself isn't. There's just like a like a Easter egg in it. I see. I've seen you. That's interesting. Man, like FromSoft can always count on people finding these little sneaky things. It's crazy. Be gone, yeah. <laughs> ah, you're doing great. Good luck on the run. Thank you. Also, Blueberry, how's it going? How have you been? How can one make runs like these and not lose sanity? I don't really have any sanity to begin with, I guess. Probably that. <laughs> I only have six skulls here, too. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I don't really like that. Homeward boning like that. <laughs> uh, Hollow Smo, thank you for the host, dude. I did hit the bonfire, right? I think I did. I should. Xenosum, welcome back as well. I thank God. Okay, yeah, we need to get more skulls. I should have just sat at the bonfire. That would have been smarter. And then I could use one of these too. Or one of the big blossoms, that would have been good. Infinite Skilla, oh boy. Uh, you got that job you mentioned in uh, BB's chat last night? Oh, that's awesome, dude. Congrats. Is this something that you've been uh, hoping for? Is it a good opportunity? Why is Broadsword the choice of these runs not something like Dragon Slayer Axe? Because that's too demanding to get, and then you can't use it on Nameless Phase 2. So you'd still need the Broadsword anyways. Yeah, it's a little bit too dangerous to get. I mean, there's definitely a way to get it without getting hit, but it's not worth it, though. Uh, like, Broadsword's not much worse for most stuff, and that's actually better for Nameless. It might actually be better for a, a few bosses, like, in terms of damage per second and all that. I wonder if these bugs alerted the skulls. Oh, I was a little bit slow on that. Well, like, I wonder if you threw a skull first, if that would help.
Twin Blades were garbage at launch. Twin Blades are still bad without the Sharp Gem. The Sharp Gem is the thing that got improved. I don't think Twin Blades actually got a buff. I think it's the Sharp Gem. Like any deck scaling weapon with Sharp Gem is just nuts but compared to how it was. Starting with just 14 USD per hour, not the best, but not bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Congrats, man. Um, I mean, like, if it's a good opportunity for you at the time, and then, like, that's what you wanted, then congratulations. Okay, uh... What are we doing? Lightning Resin, I think. I probably, uh, Pontus Red Eye, would I switch that? I think I would. Switch that for this. Hmm. Because I'm not going to get the damage bonus that often. Oh, I will on Ariandel, though. Fuck. That sucks. Uh, I technically would want to switch this, but I don't really feel safe switching that yet. Maybe I switch it back off phase two? Uh... Uh, Johan, have a good rest of your day, dude. I will see you later. You have discovered the secret cycle of the Squirrel Illuminati. Enjoy your remotes and enjoy being a skeleton. <laughs> Should have been more, but I suck and forget to come around once in a while. Love you, Squirrel. Uh, KJ, no worries, dude. Thank you very much for the two months in a row. Welcome back, dude. Don't- never apologize about that. And also, the sub streaks again, they're gonna actually count as a total, not just, like, how long you've been subbed in a row for the badges. They're gonna be changing it, so you don't have to worry anymore about, like, what badge you have or if you lost a streak, for example. That was a legit trap. Man, her positioning has been really good the entire time. I can't really get in there. 
kind of annoying. I could have probably killed him there. Another fire. Wow. That's not safe. Another one. He just like kept doing it like she just wouldn't stop. Or he wouldn't stop. Uh, if you have storytellers, it's good in this phase, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. I should farm it first. I just like to farm it before halfway. That's that's at least what the plan was gonna be. I had no idea where she was there. Okay. Whatever. I'd rather have the stun. <laughs> Why is Frida the only hard boss in this game? That's actually funny that you say that. I don't think she's the hardest boss in this game, but... That's interesting though. I mean like it's a de it's like a decent challenge and it's like a good design with a lot of content in it, but it's not the hardest boss in my opinion. Unless your difficulty uh like discretion is based on how much like how much is actually in the fight, like how long it takes. Who would you say the hardest is? Solar Cinder or uh Demon Prince, definitely. Um uh, like at least on this run, that's what I would think. But I don't I don't disagree with you. I'm just saying it's interesting that a lot of people think that. Uh Nameless Accursed, what's up by the way? Also fool, what's going on, man? Hold it right there. This is the birthday police, and today is your birthday, so be a normal human being and celebrate it regular. <laughs> the birthday police. Uh in a normal run, what would the hardest boss be? It would still be Solar Cinder, probably. At least for me, I don't know. Um, maybe Demon Prince still. In every Soulsborne game, there's actually a command, I think. Or maybe there's not. Wait, no, there might not be. I don't know. Um, False King, Demon Souls, uh, DS2, I have no idea. DS1, uh, probably Artorius for me, personally. Uh, or Gwyn without parrying is pretty hard. Three would just be what I just said, and then Bloodborne uh, Orphan, I would say, is tricky. And Lawrence, are, Lawrence and Orphan are pretty pretty much like a tie, because I think it's his preference at that point. But you can't kill Lawrence uh, as easily in some cases. I, don't, I guess they both. Well, okay, Lawrence you can kill pretty fast sometimes. 
but yeah, they're both they're both pretty equal in terms of difficulty. Actually, I'll wait a little bit. That dude canceled his attack again. He like had an arrow half drawn and then he drew another one. He had a way harder time with Manus than Artorius. Manus I find easier, but that's just me. I had a harder time with Artorias on the first playthrough, and I still would probably be more likely to make a mistake on him now, I think. Uh, wait, let's just make sure we're ready for this. Uh, Kai Razy, what's up? Oh yeah, I, don't, I have this ring on, I don't even need it, that's silly. Uh, we do need these though. I think. Probably a good idea. Fume Knight, Fume Knight uh, wasn't hard for me on my first playthrough or after learning what to do. Uh, nearly as much as Ivory King or uh, King's Pets and like Blue Smelter Demon and stuff like that. But I think he's a decent, he's like challenging. I don't think he's, he's the hardest boss in DS2 though. For like a few reasons. But some of that might just be like artificial difficulty or like quantity and stuff. Because he's not, he doesn't like take that long to kill. He's got a decent amount of health and decent attacks. I don't know how the first one on that hit, the second one didn't. So I screwed that up a little bit. I didn't I didn't get um I wasn't close enough when he went into phase it's like phase two I guess it's phase two, yeah. Uh, I could have got more damage on him when he was going into phase two, but otherwise I'm not really gonna complain about that. That would be silly. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I gotta think of items now. 
We have nine skulls left total. That's enough to get through here. We have a lot of this stuff. And then I got to farm the staff still at some point. Which will be after. Keep the skulls on just in case I need them. The run isn't the run until the run is the run. I didn't actually need to use the bundle, but I guess, I guess it's like a quick way to buff. So I don't need... Because I think I'd have to hit him three times if I didn't do that. Uh, V-Sweat, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Clickbait thumbnail. <laughs> this is what you get in return. Okay, I did not mean to do that. All right, uh... <laughs> is that a Kermit emote? Okay, this guy is to T completely de -aggra. The eyebrow. <laughs> I like I like how it's, you can't even say Eyebrows, you can only say eyebrow. It's a singular. Best part. Uh, caricature mask from a Japanese play. I could, I could definitely see that, yeah. That's true. Call them monobrow. Oh, ditch that. Okay, you were the person Hillary was talking about. Okay. I see. Well, that's that's awesome. What what do you stream? I'm going to I'm going to give you a follow. Your your avatar looks pretty uh pretty fancy. Look like you mean business. And you might have to take some people out to get the business done. Oh no. <laughs> all right. Uh let's see. So these are all good. Uh, I do need more of the blossoms. I'm going to get like 20 of them in case. Only two demons out of 10. Yeah, it's so boring when there's only two of them. You're just teasing her today. <laughs> Hillary's great. I was just teasing her. <laughs> Hillary's scary though. I mean, like she might, she might bake you uh cookies that are jagged and you might like cut your mouth or something like that on them they might taste so good that you can't stop chewing either and you keep cutting your mouth as you're eating the cookies she like bakes one like super super rigid and just like extra crispy on the outside but yeah she does make really good cookies though i will say that i know this worst boss in Soulsborne, covetous demon because why <laughs> why even put that in a game Yeah, 
You play a lot of uh, Souls in Overwatch? Okay, I see. I don't know too much about Overwatch, but I'll, I'll check your stream out, though. Uh, Ditch, thank you for the sub, man. I hope you enjoy your emotes and also being a skeleton. Welcome.
<laughs> Why is Demon Prince stronger than Demon King? Demon King's old man. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Thank you for 10 months of the most wholesome stream on Twitch. Your comments, your effort, the memes. I love this stream. Good luck, Squilla. Squill gold, 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 squill gold. Jay, thank you very much for the ten months in a row, man. And also, you you've been like a really awesome part of the community, with all the positivity and just like being cool. Not like in the music playlist at the gym, so you're listening to the stream instead. That's pretty crazy. I don't even know if I could do that, man. That's that's awesome. Uh, as old demon prince and demon. Old Demon King and Demon Prince? I have no idea. I think they're just related by being demons. I don't, I don't think they have, like, a direct... I don't know if there is such a thing as, like, a direct relation. Uh, okay, we need Clorinthy on this. And then I might use Big Blossom. Is this an actual run or practice? Oh, this is a run, man. Like, hopefully it doesn't turn into practice. <laughs> I would hope not. Where's your nomination for best creator of the year? Uh, do you mean like that thing that shows up in the panel sometimes? Like where people have that listed in their information? The Game Awards? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't really know much about that. I've seen it before though. I don't know how it works. Probably could have waited a little bit for this guy to not have his attack activate, but... Actually, it sounds like I got it. Okay, apparently I got it. That's really weird. <laughs> it must have just been, like, super lucky timing on him or something, because I was supposed to wait. Maybe he'll activate it now? Hmm.
I probably shouldn't have waited. Whoa. Okay, that's sketchy. I know you can't get hit there, but that's still sketchy, though. That's like hyper sketch. That's like Sketcher's shoes, man. And I probably didn't even need to do that either. I just, I, I always like underjudge the timing of Spook. Hi, that's hyper Sketchers, yeah. Like a little kid in Sketchers or something, just like on a playground with a candy. Etch a sketchy. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna sit at this. You thought that was GG? No, like I, if it was GG, I would have said I was dead before it happened. Cause the, he always does the attack there the same way. It's only one thing, but. Well, I was still quite a bit away. I'm glad I waited. I was actually, I contemplated getting greedy there, which clearly would have killed us. I actually thought he was close. So it's like, yeah, we, we, we were like five hits away or something. That would have been really bad. That would have been really, really bad. I think I might just wait for him to freak out every single time on this run. Cause like, it doesn't matter getting it before that happens. It's the same, like you just waste a little bit of time, whatever. Seems like he ate Mexican food. He might have. Maybe he ate a person that ate Mexican food. Uh, okay, 14 of those. That should be enough. That should be fine. Oh, we got the glitch there, so okay, if you you see how I got shifted? If I had rolled through the wall on this this attempt, I would have had a chance of either getting pushed through the wall or through the floor. And you can just die from gravity that way. So that's why I threw the firebomb. It doesn't happen like it happens like one in like a large, large amount of time. So um That's why I do that, because you can see how I got pushed. Like the collision on that stupid wall. Like the invisible walls in this are fucking stupid sometimes. So always throw a firebomb there if you don't want to get pushed to the floor or something. run invalid <laughs> remember these words though we are not going to kill midi if it's happening when they should tell us <laughs> v sweat thanks man oh god
Okay, now we gotta farm. <laughs> now we're farming for a while. <laughs> One million souls, too. Okay, I'm gonna buy, like, 30 coins. Actually, I guess I could just spend everything on coins. It wouldn't matter. Yeah, we might get really lucky and get uh, what we need right away. I got the ring this time early, though, so you don't have to worry about that. Which is good. Uh, I'm just going to get, like, 100. <laughs> if it takes that many attempts, that'll be kind of sad. I'll be a little disappointed. Like, what's the in-game time on this right now? 3.05? That's actually under the time that I estimated. On average, I would say, like, fa really fast, like, you do this in, like, three hours. Really, you know, moderate would be, like, three and a half. So this is actually a pretty good pace. But it all, it all depends on this farming right here, and then, like, some of the bosses taking longer. Uh... Wait. Uh, what I want to get? I'm trying to get the storyteller stuff. Also, Daedric, what's up? <clears throat> How's it going, man? Probably should put this on the slot first. That would have been a really dandy idea. And Homer Bones. Soul of the lost be drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. It's me, your 280th biggest fan. Uh, Rib, thank you for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Welcome back. How have you been? Okay, this guy's like dying on top of items. I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> if you use the dark sign, we won't survive the shock. Yeah, that was bad. This took long yesterday. It, it could take a long time, yeah. Like I said, I would just load a save file that already has it if I heard, had made mistakes and it was a practice run, but I mean, I can't complain that it's not a practice run, so. Obviously, we'd have to... I can't load a file for the actual run. I need to put the homer bones on. My fear is the guy falls off the edge and then the item's gone. Uh, Red Thirst, what's up? How's it going, dude? Uh, it's been It's been good. It's been good. How have you been? Yes. Oh boy, speedy boys. And I got a hollow gem too, double drop. Yeah. Okay. What is what does Kapla mean? Avril, what's or sorry, I called you Avril, <laughs> Azrael. <laughs> Avril Levine watching the run, by the way. <laughs> it's a Klingon thing? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, boy. I have to pee really bad, by the way. I just wanted to wait till this point to say it, because, like, we're close, but I really have to pee. And I feel like it's helping. So I'm going to keep having to pee very badly. Don't try it at home, though. Mm. 
<laughs> Crunchy muffin, oh man. <clears throat> Install a catheter real quick. I could probably manage to do that. I could probably do that while this fight's happening at the same time. I might actually go pee while I am doing this. Because it's getting to be the point where it's actually, it's scary. It's like a sketchy amount of having to pee right now. Okay, um, I am going to go and pee while this is going on. No one touch anything. I'll be right back. I think I came back at the perfect time. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. The only run where you can literally leave and come back. Am I nervous for Gale? Not really, no. I can't make any promises, but I'm not nervous, though. Oh, I feel so much better now. Like, okay, I thought it was okay. I thought it was tolerable, but then once I said it, I thought about it more, and I really had to pee badly. Like, it was, it was, it was, like, it was, I was about to pee my pants. So, <laughs> maybe I should correct myself, like, there's a certain amount of having to pee that's maybe gonna help your runs, but if it's, like, detrimental, don't wait. Unless you have diapers that are, like, XXL jumbo or a, a jug. How many bosses are left? Uh, it's just the one. Just this one. Is this practice or a real run? This is a real run. Are you, aren't you using poison? I will, but I'm not going to use the storyteller staff against them, though. I don't actually know how to do that properly. Don't fuck it up, Squilla. <laughs> V-Sweat, thanks, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't get Chloranthi plus three for this because it's not worth it. I should take away the Estus, though. 
That'd make this a little easier. I want to put this here. Okay, I'm going to actually rebuff that.
All right, that was pretty fucking crazy. That was pretty About crazy. About time I get a fucking lucky break in this fucking game. Motherfuckers. And I clutch Holy the shit. goddamn grenade launcher. Holy That's fucking shit. right. Yeah, it's this one. I didn't I think fear it's this one. <laughs> I didn't think My we were going to do that. Case. Until we... I until I got to the DLC oh, the and then I was like, okay, we got to do it. Oh, oh man. I had I had like a really high heart rate at the beginning of that fight and then it kind of just like calmed down. I was like really nervous at the beginning. Oh boy. Holy shit, man. We gotta we gotta end it in the in the uh, right place though. Let's let's go. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Two days? No, it wasn't two days. We went from like ten mistakes to zero though. That was that was really sick. That was the biggest jump I think I've had in a run. GGPZ. Like at least until like the completion. That like <sighs> That was fucking crazy. And it was faster than I wanted it to be too. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. NG plus or it didn't happen. Yeah, we're gonna go into NG plus and get the credits and everything. Uh first of all, wait one second. Congrats, man. That was the last boss, yeah, we, we did. Uh so every single boss plus DLC. Uh without Fear leveling lost, no damage. From its vessel. It's like the first that it has been completed. So nobody has done that until now. Now it's done. Imagine if I walked off the edge. Don't say that, Dibs. Uh, Peanuts, thank you for the bits, uh, dude. I appreciate it. Also, uh, I think, v was that V-Sweat with the 112s? Thank you for the 112s, V-Sweat. King Ol' Frago, uh, Sidward, Struggles... Uh, Zubair, thank you very much for the subs as well. As well as Trek, thank you for GG gifting man. Chewbacca. That was insane. Thank you for gifting Chewbacca a sub. Uh, Infinite Hangout, thank you very much for the bits, man. Damn it, Mike, thank you very much. <laughs> Nattertot. No <laughs> Nattertot. <laughs> Natter <tot. laughs> is that is that the new nickname? Uh, Zorha, dude, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Oh, that's scary. That's wild, man. I, I had a really, really good vibe on that, though. Like, I was, like, super, super calm. Because I don't think I, I... I think it was because I just didn't expect it, but then once I was like, okay, we could do it, then it Does this mean got a little sketchy. Practice grapple? So maybe maybe the trick is to just not be bad. <laughs> oh, no, I'm dropping frames. Oh, no. Uh, V-Sweat, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Does this mean SC6 practice? Uh... I don't know what it means, you man. Discover the secret cycle of the Square Illuminati. I do not enjoy know what it means. Enjoy being a skeleton. <laughs> I think <sighs> Trek, thank you for gifting Game and Watch a sub as well. I appreciate it. Oh boy. DS1 no roll. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um Sorcery, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to figure out sorcery no hit. Mer uh, we're we're gonna do miracle no hit first. Miracles first. I decided. Then sorcery, then pyromancy. Uh, I wanted I want to do miracles. I want I want to do them all bosses at some point. I think. Uh, but yeah, miracles, sorcery, pyromancy. I don't have any plans made for that yet, but like I'm gonna have to start looking up how to do that, or like what items I need. But we will. We will do it. Also, I gotta turn down the game sound. Holy shit. Thank you guys for watching this. That was really cool. And thank you for no one getting, like, overly... hype and stuff before it happened. Like, I think because everyone thought it might have just been practice, that helped too. Also, Key Soap, thanks, man. You like the way I say miracle... Mir miracles. Miracles. There you go. Miracles. <laughs> now do this on Bloodborne. Uh, we were working on it on Bloodborne, but not no damage, though. Worth losing some work time for, yeah. Uh, Mary, thank you for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. 
Uh, I think I didn't plan to. I planned to do two runs today, and obviously we just got the run. So I think we might just end early and and give somebody this this hype raid. Uh, because if I'm gonna do the miracle no hit, I'm gonna have to actually like study some stuff to figure out where the items are and everything. And uh, I think I have a I have an idea of what we can do tomorrow. Uh, that will be like a meme run kind of thing. It should take like the whole stream, but uh, I don't have the stuff set up for it yet. But I do have an idea, though. I have a pretty cool idea that was suggested today that I already wanted to do. Actually, wait a second. No. There's a, there's two ideas. We could do a vote. We could do a straw poll. So this will segue into Twitter. If you do have a Twitter and you want to vote for what we do tomorrow once I put up the vote for it, check it out. Also, you will know when I go live if you follow the Twitter. And here's the YouTube if you want to see anything we have done. This is the recent run we did before this that was pretty damn hard. Uh, it took a lot longer than this one, but this is pretty cool, too. Uh, also, to Neo, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just end on a hype note, because I don't know what I could do to top that today. That's, like, one of those times, you know. But thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do a pretty long stream tomorrow, I promise you that. I was going to today, but we don't need to because I got, got it, and there's nothing else that could even possibly live up to that right now. Um, let me see the who, who we can host right now and surprise. Uh, you know what? Actually, we're going to raid uh, BB Gain. She's doing her painting of uh, an Outrider Knight from DS3. She's painted six times ever. Six times ever, and... This painting is so good that Dark Souls, of, like the official Twitter of Dark Souls, retweeted it. That's how crazy it is. So, if you want to see like one of the best paintings I've seen of Souls from someone that's not even actually an artist, apparently. Uh, also, she plays no hit runs on this game too. And then Marcus gifting five subs. God damn it, dude. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go raid BB Marcus. Thank you for the gifted subs to Delurchi, Sleepy Sif, T Parker, or T Partaker. Sorry. And verse Dark Fox and Rio Rio Kuni. Thank you. But yeah, her painting looks really good. I will see you in her stream. Let's go. Marcus is an MVP of all time. Greatest. Goodbye forever. Let strength be granted so the